Exactly. Oh, is that the shem mincha is going to be at eight o'clock? Please be on time. Eight p.m. mincha. The halacha tells us about a person who wants to have ice cream during the meal. Does he say a bracha on ice cream? So there is a disagreement. Hacham ben Tzion Abba Shaul, Abba Shalom, who would say that it depends on the type of ice cream. If it's an ice cream that is water-based, like a popsicle type ice cream, or sometimes they make ice cream without milk, so then the, the he says, don't make a bracha on it, because it's considered like water, it's a liquid, you don't say a bracha. But if it has uh, milk in it, it's milk-based ice cream, so then he says, no, you're supposed to say a bracha on it. That, that, in that case, is no longer deemed a liquid, it's deemed like a solid, and you have to say a bracha on ice cream, like you would have to say a bracha on uh, chocolate chip. The same thing. So that's what Chacham Ben Tzion Abashur's opinion. Chacham Ovadiyah did not distinguish. Chacham Ovadiyah held, you have to not say a bracha on ice cream, to not say a bracha when you're having it in the meal, regardless of if it has milk, it doesn't have milk. If it's ice cream, you don't say a bracha on it. And the reason is because if you were to put it in room temperature, it would melt. And therefore it has the status of a liquid. Especially since ice cream generally is not, you don't chew ice cream. You, you suck on ice cream. And therefore it's, it has the din of a mashke and not the din of a solid. And since it has the din of a liquid, we know we already learned that when it comes to liquids that are during the meal, we say safik bachot we don't make a bracha on liquids during the meal. So it comes out that according to Chacham Vadia, we do not say a bracha on ice cream. What's interesting is of David Yosef, his son, had a position to say you should say a bracha on ice cream. He argued very strongly that you should. But fascinatingly, in the footnotes of the Yabiyah Omer, which came out very, very recently, they discovered a lot of footnotes that Alvadja himself wrote in his own Sfarim. And they put it down in the new edition of the Yabi Omer. He says explicitly not to say bracha on ice cream during the meal. So it sounds like uh, Hacham David, I would assume he retracted once he saw the footnotes, uh, because Halakha Bura was written before the footnotes. Either way, the Halakha is like Rav Yitzchak Yosef, that you do not make a bracha on ice cream during the meal. It is better to push the ice cream off to after the meal. In order to not get into the question, the Safek, as we said, even liquids, Drinking during the meal is a safik. Certainly, ice cream is even bigger safik. So it's better to say bekat amazon and then have the ice cream, then say the bracha according to all the opinions. But nevertheless, if you are having the ice cream in the meal, do not say a bracha on ice cream, as we have the golden rule: safik brachot Amen. 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 Amen.